years ago when I was looking at producing some ionized volume of gases for replicating Paul Kollog's work because in 1973 he suggested pre-ionizing gases before making ball lightning analogs I considered using a range of different sources of UV and one of them being hydrogen lamps used in, as spectral sources and other commercially available UV lights and one of them is used in uh, pet illumination and when I was speaking to Malcolm Bendel about what his UV source was well he said he just got it from the pet shop and well I said what you mean like one of those things that you use for like terrariums and like lizards and stuff he said yeah like the de desert one <clears throat> I said that's interesting because like the desert has a ones have a higher UV output and uh, it just so happens that I have a sister who has some tortoises and in there they have these UV lights so they are made by Exoterra and these are the mountings that you come for them uh, that you buy separately actually and these are ceramic, they're up to 150 watt, they get rid of the heat. Except this is actually the UV light here, you can see. Like so. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And over there is the heat lamp, which I won't touch because it's very, very hot. But it's the same fitting. And so, uh, just a screw fit, E27 fit. We'll have a look at the bulb next. So this is the UVB100. Actually, it's the UVB150 normally for deserts, but this will do. And there we go, there's the UVB100. And you can see self ballasted lamp. And this is the highest capacity you get in Europe, 25 watts. I think it's 26 watts in the US. And there we go. This is possibly the UVB 100 that may be being used by Malcolm Bendel in his ionizer. Now, the question is, is this the optimum ionization source? 